But as I was saying, uh, it cut off mid mid conversation, mid sentence. But when we're in this truth, uh, you know, you you start to get purged of all those infirmities, of all that dross, as our Lord was telling us, as our Lord tells us, in Isaiah chapter one, and verse twenty-two. Your silver has become dross, your wine mixed with water. Okay, now I'm going to go to Proverbs chapter 17 and verse 3. The refining pot is for silver, the furnace and the furnace for gold, but the Lord tests the heart. So, so you know, you could see it as us being in a refining pot. You know, you could see it as, as us being refined throughout the different infirmities and the different trials and tribulations that we're going through. And eventually that dross is purged off. Eventually that dross is purged off of us and we become that new man. That shining piece of gold old fear. Y'all give me a second. And our Lord tells us, our Lord tells us uh, uh, the, the consequences beforehand. I wish I had uh, searched it so I could have it on deck. But there's a scripture in the book of Ezekiel where our Lord uh, uh, tells us that those who don't hearken are going to be left here and melted. That's not a nice way of saying, you know, that's not a nice way of saying things. I'm going to melt you. That should, that, should, that should put some fear in your heart. I'm pretty sure it's in the book of Ezekiel. Don't quote me exactly. But that's why I say I wish I had searched it. But that goes back to Zechariah chapter 13 and verse 9. I'll find the scripture when I get home. Or when I get to the house. There we go. Yep. Ezekiel chapter 22. And I'm going to start at. I'm going to get a couple scriptures. Zechariah chapter 13 and verse 8. It reads, And it shall come to pass in the land, says the Lord, that two thirds in it shall be cut off and die, but one third shall be left in. So when you're cut off and you die, that means, that means, uh, uh, the Lord has specific angels that are blocking your ears and your eyes so you're not able to receive the knowledge and it shall come to pass in the land says the Lord that two-thirds in it shall be cut off and die but one-third shall be left in it I will bring the one-third through the fire I will refine them as silver, <coughs> as silver is refined and test them as gold is tested which goes back to Proverbs chapter 17 and verse 3. They will call on my name and I will answer them. I will say this is my people and each one will say the Lord is my power. So the one third is going to be brought, brought through the fire. One third of Israel is going to be brought through the fire. That difficult time when you don't know where your food is going to come from. You don't know where your water is about to come from. You don't know if you're going to have a, a, a peaceful place to sleep. But two thirds, Ezekiel chapter 22 and verse 17, it reads, the word of the Lord came to me saying, son of man, the house of Israel has become dross to me. They are all bronze, tin, iron, and lead in the midst of a furnace. They have become dross, of silver. So 
so the Lord is getting the Lord is is, is refining his young men to be go of fear to be that rare that rare man that rare that rare that rare wedge of gold of fear that rare man that everybody's looking for as our Lord tells us in the latter times they shall wander from sea to from sea to sea from north to east seeking the truth thus says the Lord Yahweh Bahashim Yahweh Shai because you have all become dross therefore Behold, I will gather you into the midst of Jerusalem. So, so when you gather something into the midst, it means that everybody's uh, 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 knowledgeable of the things that are going on. So you ask an average so-called Negro, Latino, I say an average Negro. I'll start with the, I'll, 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 I'll start at one point. The, you ask the so-called Negroes, you know who you are? And they say, yeah, we're the Hebrew Israelites. And, and as, as soon as they hear that, as soon as it gets to that point, they start trying to figure out how they could uh, divert the situation or get out the conversation because they don't want to address their, what, the, the things that they got to do to change. They don't want to hear what they're doing wrong. All they want to know is that they're an Israelite and they could keep going on doing their thing. But they don't want to hear the, they don't want, they don't want to take in the bitter. They just want the sweet. They just want the things as far as the, 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 the smooth words. They just want to hear that, you know? They don't want to hear that they got to stop eating pork or that they can't be sleeping with any woman they want. You know? They can't be getting tattoos. You know? So when our Lord tells us He shall gather the mist into Jerusalem, a good amount of our people know who we are, but they still refuse to repent which is where Ezekiel chapter 2 and verse 7 comes into play. As men gather silver, bronze, iron, lead, and tin into the midst of a furnace to blow fire on it, to melt it, so I will gather you in my anger and in my fury, and I will leave you there to melt. So if you don't hearken to the word of the Heavenly Father and His only begotten Son, He's going to leave you here to melt. He's not going to deliver you. As our Lord told us that he would, uh, all right, we good. Nice. 